Hello and in this screencast for Apache ISIS what I want to show you is how to write a view model. So a view model is um, a domain object that isn't an entity, it's one that's kind of created, uh, synthesized if you like on the fly. And I thought the one to demonstrate to you would be maybe to compare two objects. So uh, here's our application running, let me close the application and um, let's go about building a view model. So the, there are several ways to do this, the easiest is probably to create what's called a JAXB view model. Um, so we're going to call this compare to. Um, the property we're going to have will be um, our sim like the left hand side of the comparison, say, to start off with. And that will give us this as a starting point. And then what the idea is we're going to have another object, and that's going to be the right hand side. So that is basically a view model. Um, I just need to add in this as well. Most of this stuff is just uh, JAXB annotations. Um, you know, the essence of it is just uh, a getter and a setter really um, and the DTO interface here is, is for mixins, we'll see that later on when we run the application the other thing then would be need uh, some kind of way to create this view model so I think the easiest way to do that would be to use a mixin so the mixed in type we're going to mix in onto a simple object this is going to be a method called, or an action called compare, we won't bother with any domain events and um, we'll have an action which is at the other object to compare to. So this will give us an um, outline there. And so let's see, so the implementation, I actually want to be comparing, returning a compare to. I need to instantiate one of these things. So if I use the factory service, it's probably the best way. Doing it this way is going to ensure that any services that get injected into the uh, view model will be automatically injected, initialized. So I'll instantiate a compare to. So that's going to give me a compare to thing. That's what's going to get returned. Now let's initialize this. So the left hand side will be this object that I'm uh, mixing into, and the right hand side will be the parameter to this uh, mix in action. I also need to provide a, a mechanism to choose the uh, thing I'm comparing to. So um, this is going to be choices for an action zero zero returning a list of simple objects where shall I get those objects from I can do it by getting asking for an, the simple objects repository to be injected into me so then if we go that dot list them all and then it's basically it was a nice bit of candy floss let's filter out this simple object we don't want to compare to ourselves and then collect using the collectors to list all right so that's the plan there that's basically working hopefully and the last thing I need to do is um, because this this uh, compare to view model is referencing simple objects then the simple objects themselves we just need to add an extra uh, annotation to them which is we need to say that they are we have this uh, adapter thing, persistent entity adapter dot class. That basically tells um, JAXB how to serialize out uh, this object reference. So I think that's it. Let's give it a go. Okay, that's uh, the app running. Let's give it a go. And here's um, our first object. We'll do a compare and the choices. And oh, uh, I've got, I think I must have my uh, implementation the wrong way around. I'm only seeing myself rather than the other, all the other objects. Let's double check that. Yep, silly mistake. Should be not equal to. Let's just reload changed classes. Okay, great stuff. Let's um, reload this page. Right, I want to compare this object. Let's see if it works this time to some other objects. And this is the mixin you're looking at, and then we hit OK, and what's being returned now is the view model with the left and the right references. So um, if I just click on this, you can see that the the, the type is a compare to, and the rest of the of the string here is basically the serialized form of the data that's being um, the, the the two references basically to these two different objects. Um, because this, uh, if you might remember, we had a um, we we're implementing this uh, marker interface. And so that's what's contributing these additional actions, or some of them, the download XML and download XSD. So we can also get a, this string representation 
or an XML representation I should see I should say and also if you want you can even get the XSD okay so that was basically a view model you can see there's not much to the view model itself most of the heavy lifting was actually in the mix in that I wrote just to be able to instantiate the the view model um, but there you are we'll we'll maybe flesh this out in a future uh, screencast all right hope that made sense give it a go